want to learn a fun take on a popular holiday classic? Well, in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you a really cool bossa nova arrangement of Angels We Have Heard on High, starting with the lead sheet and then the full arrangement with harmony, an intro, and an ending. This quick tip is so much fun and I can't wait to get started, so let's begin. Step number one is learning the lead sheet of Angels We Have Heard on High. Now this is different than you may have heard before because usually we're used to hearing this song as a hymnal like this. Right? Very straight. But this, because we're doing it in a bossa nova groove, has more anticipation and syncopation. So now we have this. Pretty cool, right? And then that same thing repeats exactly the same notes and rhythm in the second four measures, like this. And the cool thing too is that you're probably used to hearing more basic chords, right? Like... Whereas here you're seeing the one chord, to the five, to the one, now one, six, two, five, one. One, five, one. One, six, two, five, one. So it's more jazz harmony in here as well, which makes it very exciting. If you're enjoying today's quick tip, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more great content just like this. The B section of the lead sheet sounds like this. So some of it's very typical the way you might hear it in a classical setting, right? This kind of... But then here we have anticipation again, more like in that bossa nova groove. The last half of the tune is a repetition of what we just heard, but now instead of ending with da 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 and stopping, we end with da 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 one, we finally end on the one chord. So this section goes. And then you go back and play it again. Usually this song is done more than one time because there are verses to this song. So if you were singing it, you would sing it two, three, four times. Let's go ahead and play this melody all the way through now with the track. Don't worry about the left hand, just focus on your right hand playing this melody and have fun. Here we go. And it repeats. And by the way, if you like the downloadable sheet music and track from today's quick tip, please click on the link below. Step number two is the full arrangement. And when we're putting together a full arrangement, we need to have an introduction and an ending. So a really typical intro is to start on the one chord. And there's this great device where you go from the one chord to like a two over one or G minor over F back to the one chord, up to a major seven, back to the two chord, one minor two, one, but it's all over one. They call that a one pedal, and then to the five chord. In this case, it's a sus chord or a B flat triad over C. So the intro sounds like this. Beautiful, right? And it sets up the feel of that bossa nova groove, and now we're ready to hear the melody. All right, so for the melody, what we're doing is putting the rest of the chord underneath the melody. So the melody notes on top, we put the rest of the chord. So for an F major seven, we have the fifth and the seventh and the melody, all right? Now on the left hand, we're simply playing the root of each chord and anticipating the rhythms along with the right hand. So the first four measures sounds like this.
pretty cool, right? And it all works together because the left hand and the right hand are anticipating at the same time. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. See that? One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four. And the cool thing is that the next four measures are identical to what we just played. So since these four bars are an exact repetition of what we just played, we simply play it again like this. Three, four. Nice, right? And now we're ready for the B section. What I love about the B section is that we have this counter melody underneath the melody in the right hand. So we start with this A minor seven, but then you hear this. Da, 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 da. That's that counter melody. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Almost like a choir. Then we get to the C9 sus, and the sus is in the left hand, which I love. It's this 11th, and it goes, resolves to the third. Do you hear that? Da, the left hand goes down to B flat because then the next chord is an F add two over A like this. And this is a beautiful chord because it's an F add two with the third in the bass, which is a really cool voicing. And then here's that sus again with the sus in the left hand and then it resolves. Beautiful, right? So for this next section, it's an exact repetition again of what we just played. So we simply play it again with this beautiful counter melody. Now the only difference with this last part is that we finally resolve to the one chord. So we have this F add two over A, the D minor, G9. Here's our C9 sus that resolves and we finally go to the one chord. And then the cool thing about this is that it's just like the intro where we go like this. Right, there's that one to the minor two, G minor seven over F, back to F, and then that C9 sus. Now the arrangement is set up where we then DS or go back to the beginning. So we'd repeat the song again. And the second time we take this two coda and the coda is the ending. We'll get into that next. And if you'd like to do a deeper dive into this holiday classic, please check out the Angels We Have Heard on High Challenge at pianowithjohnny.com. So the coda or ending begins just like the introduction with a slightly different ending. So it sounds like this. Repeat. Repeat again. But then this time we go to the third ending to G minor seven over F, then check this out. G minor seven flat five, and then we end on the F chord. Isn't that beautiful? It gives a certain sadness to the ending with that G minor seven over F, G minor seven flat five, and then finally ending on the F chord. And you can really milk that ending with a little bit of a retardando and just enjoy that ending. So I think next what we're gonna do, we're gonna play this whole arrangement with the track. That's next. All right, so we're gonna play the arrangement with the track now. We're gonna start with the intro. We'll play letter A, letter B. We'll take the DS back to letter A and then take the two coda sign and go to the coda and end. So it's gonna be so much fun, can't wait. Here we go. DS back to letter A and play the song again.
I'll take the coda. Here we go. Repeat. One more time. Beautiful job. Thanks so much for attending this quick tip on playing Angels We Have Heard on High, both learning the lead sheet and the final arrangement in this really great bossa nova groove. I hope you learned a lot. I had a lot of fun. And I look forward to seeing you on the next quick tip real soon. Happy holidays, everybody. So long. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the lesson, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out pianowithjohnny.com. We have over 1,000 step-by-step lessons for all playing levels where you'll learn your favorite songs, styles, and how to improvise at the piano. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.